in the previous slides, we've looked at what may happen to sort of my electrical billing if I have a poor power factor. And so let's take the example here of I have some load Z. And this Z load, because it is has a complex power, maybe its complex load or its complex power value is right here. And so initially, there's going to be some sort of reactive power to this. And there's going to be some sort of real power as a part of it. And recall that the power factor, so the power factor is going to be the cosine of whatever my angle is here. So if my initial angle is right here of phi z, I might have a much poorer power factor versus if I could lower my complex power to here. And so the idea is if I can reduce, if I can bring down my reactive power to a lower level, I might be able to change my power factor into some new reactive power and actually increase my power factor so I'm not charged as much each month in my electrical bill. And actually my equipment may operate a little more efficiently. So what we're going to discuss in this sort of set of videos is how we do power factor compensation by inserting a capacitor, and this will be called a shunt capacitor, and this capacitor will actually move my reactive power down. It will decrease the reactive power and in improve my power factor. So let's take a look at this situation in a little more detail. And let's draw a power triangle, which shows our real power here. So that's our real power, our reactive power. And then because again, this is a triangle, the resultant of that is going to be our apparent power. And let's say that this is the state of things before the capacitor is inserted. And we have some initial phase angle say phi of z1. Now, when I insert this capacitor in here, it changes the reactive load. So it changes the total impedance of the circuit. And luckily for us, if you recall, the impedance of a capacitor is negative j over wc. So if I insert a capacitor into the circuit, this reactive power is actually going to decrease. And so if I have my above triangle, which is my original circuit, I can now actually improve this by taking Q and reducing it down, and we'll call this sort of Q prime. And Q prime is going to be our original reactive power plus our new reactive power. And this value is actually going to be less. And so if we're gonna sort of overlay this here, what we wanna do is come up with a new QC that's much less than Q naught. And so our total reactive power is gonna go down, but we are going to be unable to change the real power. So the, the real power cannot change, but we can adjust our reactive power. And so our new angle is going to be phi of Z2. And the goal is going to be that by inserting this new capacitor, we can decrease this phase angle and in decreasing the phase angle, we will improve our power factor. 